Do you know that kind of person that gets sick when anything goes wrong? Do you know when you wanna do everything right here, right now, a hundred percent right? Yes. When you are in this mindset, in this state of mind, you create a high level of anxiety because you never do everything right, a hundred percent right. You will never achieve that um, zero mistakes. You will always be able to make it better and better and better and sometimes we just planned to study to work to do your diet to do your exercises and people used to think today i ate something out of my diet so i don't care today will be a free day but today is not your day off okay it's sunday just sunday because if you if you do your diet uh, six days in your week on Sunday you can have the freedom you have the right to have you deserve the freedom of eating whatever you want and it's really important to pay attention on why am I like that why do I wanna everything a hundred percent right and there is a positive intention in the perfectionism yes because uh, when when I, I feel like I am late I feel guilty because I didn't have my success yet so I feel like um, the time is passing and I didn't have the success that I expect and the people used to expect from me so that's the first source from the, that needing I wanna do everything right right here right now because I'm late the time is passing and, and nothing happens in my life so you have to pay attention on it to this source from the perfectionist and people used to feel pressured because they compare themselves to other people you can look around and realize that everybody has have success and you don't only me only uh, I, I look at my life and I can see that everybody's better than me and you are falling in a trap you are comparing yourself to other people and that's a big mistake don't do this the, the only person that you have compare yourself is yourself so today I, I have to be better than yesterday and tomorrow I have to be even better and day by day with patience that's the secret patience and accept that I am not perfect I don't have to be perfect to make my dreams come true no I have to give the permission to myself I have to give myself the permission to make mistakes and to learn with my mistakes leaving the past behind and without feeling guilty, without uh, punishing me, I'm a loser, I'm making so many mistakes in my life. Ah, stop, please. That would be incredible to you. Yes. And that's the first step. Don't compare yourself to other people, okay? You are unique, do your job build your house of success uh, follow your path towards uh, 
your dreams. That's really important. You will never see using both look into other people when paying attention on their race. I have my race, my path, my final line, my goal to achieve. So I have to pay attention on my race and make my race, my way uh, of racing even better and learn with, uh, with my mistakes without comparing myself to other people. That's my first mistake that uh, may create me, oh, I'm late, everybody's, it's okay, everybody uh, has su success, and I don't, so I have to, mm, I have to do everything faster to accomplish my goals. That's, that's, that's the first mistake. The second most common mistake is to uh, demand from yourself too much. But when you learn uh, from someone, your father, mother, teacher, professor, and you have to pay attention on it, okay? Because uh, I, was, I was talking to a coachee and she said, uh, coach, I never received, I never received a compliment from my father. Never, ever, my father said, uh, congratulations, never, he never said that. He used to say, yes, you can do more. Don't be a lazy person. Don't be in comfort zone. And he never said congratulations. And I was thinking, what is the positive intention from this father? What does he want with this action? The lack of compliment. And I've been thinking that maybe he was trying to help her to be even better, help her to overcome her limit. So I want to uh, give her value to, to don't um, create that Oh, I don't need to I don't need to do everything in my highest level anymore so she never learned how to give value to herself because she never received this action from outside so if I don't receive it outside I don't have it inside but what I don't receive in life, from, from life, what I don't receive from the universe is my teacher to teach me how to create it by myself. So if I don't have, uh, for example, that's a, a, a true story. My mother used to demand too much from me and she used to see bad things, um, more bad things than good things and I felt that I never received from outside so I created my own support I created my own self value I don't need the outside valorization from others I don't need it because as I didn't have it I created by myself and you have to pay attention on it if you are not demanding too much from yourself and you want to make uh, everything faster because you are just demanding too much from yourself, do everything in your time. Do your best every day. And I want to do even more, even more. And when you connect with the pleasure, the happiness, the joy of doing the best that you can, that's fantastic because you create more energy I act and I make my faith stronger and when I have more faith more desire more willpower I will act more and will increase my willpower and I will have more energy to act and when I act I create more willpower and that's a cycle and it's really interesting when you are thinking about, for example, people that when people expect 
too much from you. Uh, I always had uh, success in my life and today I cannot have all that level that I had in my past. So people are expecting from me and I'm worried. So I want to do everything right here, right now, 100% right, because I'm demanding for myself, because people are expecting me, expecting too much from me. So pay attention on these three cases, okay? Don't compare yourself uh, with other people. Don't do this, ever, okay? Second step, don't demand too much from yourself. Don't do this, okay? Be patient, that's really important. Everything will happen in the right time. Do your best every day, and every day overcome your limits in your time, in your, in your uh, conditions, okay? And the third uh, point that you have to pay attention on is people's expectations is theirs. Don't take to yourself. Leave it outside. If, you're, if you are expecting too much from me, that's not my problem. <laughs> you are expecting too much. I don't care. I'm gonna do what I can do, when I can do, and even better every day. Okay? I hope you have enjoyed our video from today. Take a look in the, link, the links right here below from Personal Coaching Zen course for free, the first model, 21 classes for free. And leave uh, your comments right here below. I would uh, be really glad if you could do this. Thank you for your like. Uh, this action will help us a lot. So give us your like if you enjoyed our video and subscribe our channel to receive uh, our new videos every week. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.